Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Outdoor Pier Mount, banded pier mount, 335796. Awesome fixture, a lot of detail. Let's jump into it. Just a quick note the photograph you always see of this is of that fixture itself sitting on a four inch pier mount and this is a optional attachment that you can order because there's other things this can technically go on this can go on a 71 inch post a 23 inch post almost 100 percent of you are actually going to put it on this little four inch post and it also is available with an optional cover cap and what happens is you basically use this to hide the bottom of this and it just slides down over the top and it covers up the flange which is the bottom part and those are the attachments you're going to be attaching this obviously to something like a, a stone wall or a column or a decking or something and you're going to be attaching it with things on the bottom this is called a flange that's the bottom part with these holes on it. it's five inches by five inches just fyi um, so anyway you also have the opportunity to order this fixture with a round collar as a special order which I've done in the past on a lot of post lights that means that you probably already have a three inch diameter outside diameter pipe coming out of a stone wall or a column you know coming up, up yay high and then you can just order this fixture with that column the the collar that's round and it'll slip right over you can also order an optional round version of this to go over that so it basically cleans up the bottom of it or you don't even need to you can just slide it right over a lot of people have done that too something that a lot of people don't know that we can do but we can do okay so let's jump into overall height of the fixture itself is 14 and 3 8 inches tall that is not including this four inch pier mount however actually I think it's three inch pier mount but anyway um, the collar is going to come down about two inches over this so just kind of keep that in mind it adds a little bit of height to that 14 inches and then you've got 7.4 inches wide left to right or diameter however, however you want to say it uh, glass on this is 10.25 inches tall 6.25 inches in diameter top is closed and I'll get more into detail on opal glass later in this video okay so let's jump into what's inside of this and what you can put inside of this. Hubberton Forge says that this is going to max out at 100 watts for an, an incandescent bulb. And that's because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. If you guys want to do LEDs, you know, that piece of glass is 6 and a quarter inches diameter, 10 inches tall. There is no LED you're going to find that's going to be too big to get it in that glass. This is a, a A19 LED. This is that standard A19 bulb that we talked about two seconds ago. This is the incandescent one that we all grew up with. So it's kind of a standard size. There are larger bulbs in the marketplace that you can use as well. This is an A21. I got this at my local hardware store. It's made by Sylvania. And it's um, 150 watt equivalent. This guy, is, I can get this up to 100 watt equivalent if I look around out there. But most of these are going to be 60, 75 watt equivalent. But anyway, all that said, these don't generate much heat. They don't, gener they don't use a lot of electricity. So again, there's no limit to how, how much of an LED I can get into this. It's really just what can make it into that glass. So it's really up to you. And then you guys have probably heard me a million times talking about color temperature of LEDs. I like that warmer light coming out of an incandescent bulb. That's the glow that's coming down from the LEDs above me. So that warm white is 3000 Kelvin. Remember that when you're out looking at LEDs, some of you might like that cooler daylight. That's actually 4000, 5000 Kelvin. It's really important to, to kind of look and find what you guys like, you know, because it's going to make a big difference when you're looking at these lights and what light comes out of it at you. Good to know. Dimmable fixture, if you want to put it on a dimmer, just buy a dimmable LED and you are good to go. And then um, after that, if you guys are in the state of California and you're pulling permits and they're going to be coming out and checking about what you're doing because you pulled permits, they may opt to ask you to do a GU24 socket. And that's going to be a GU24 socket with the two holes, GU24 light bulb with the little prongs on top and it just kind of clicks in. This is so you can't use one of these incandescents in the state of California or if you're building a LEED certified building, L-E-E-D. So that's if you're building these buildings or houses and trying to get government tax credits, they're going to make you use this kind of thing. If you are not doing those two things, pulling permits in California or uh, doing a LEED certified building, just buy the regular screw-in incandescent version and put in any, any LED your heart desires, okay? So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. 
And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting, and the reason they do that is because Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. They're all made out of aluminum for a reason, because it holds up beautifully, it welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So, on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible, and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman and uh, she's actually shooting uh, powdered finish at the fixture. And they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, wire coming down. They run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell. And it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right? Where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen. Limited lifetime warranty for residential use. And check it out, and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Cool. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubberton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a What's On Display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubberton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.